and he told us when I fight, hallelujah. Yes, I'm on my knees, Lord, hallelujah. With my hands lifted up, hallelujah. And how about this? The reason I fight like that is because of who he is. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Y'all excuse me, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I wasn't expecting that. Glory to God. Jameson said, Sister Destiny was doing something else, and so she decided she wasn't going to sing. And I said, well, that's fine, that's fine. And I already told my son what song to play. He said, that's all right, let's be all right. Yeah, hallelujah. But then she decided to sing, and then she said, I used to could sing, you know, and I could hit the notes. And then after I had her, she took all them high notes. I didn't hit the notes no more. But I sure enjoy listening to her hit those notes. Praise the Lord for this morning. Glory, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, hallelujah, I stand before your people. God asking you that you would anoint me. Lord, I'm your vessel. Speak to me. Let the Holy Spirit move and speak through me today. Oh God, as I stand here, I study and prepare for God. You, hallelujah. You move the way you want me to move. Jesus, as I surrender my soul to you. Lord, multiply this word and divide it to each and every soul in that house. As only you can do, God. That it will take root in their hearts, Father, and bring forth fruit in due season as you see fit. You and I believe it and I decree and declare on today, if it's but one person, somebody, hallelujah, is going to be blessed. If it's but one person, somebody's going to be delivered. If it's but one person, somebody is going to be set free. Hallelujah. You can give the glory, the honor, and all the praise because it is. Do your thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 26, 38, 39 reads. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, Father, if it be possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will. But as you did, Matthew 27 and 46. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Ela, Ela, Lama Sabathana, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The word of God, all the people of God, you have this. Thank you, Jesus. Today I want to talk about love for a little while, and I hope that you pay close attention because I promise I'm going to be up your mind. And I don't want you to say it, but what happened? Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I'm going to let the Lord have his way. I got a text message from someone wishing me a happy resurrection. And so as I went through my phone looking for it, um, something that I can send back to them. I saw a little message that said it had a cross with white linen cloth draped across it. And it said his purpose was love. His destiny was the cross. 
passage, and I just a little bit. His reason was you. And I, it struck me, and I read it again. His purpose was love. His destiny was the cross. His reason was you. And as I read it, one, one part just kind of struck me. I, we, you know, we were celebrating and we're commemorating the fact that he got up. And we've heard it said before that he died for all our sins, but somehow, this time when I read it, his reason, and I'm reading it, his reason was you. And I, it just struck me. And I said, my God. So I said that. And everybody who sent me something, I sent them the same thing. Some of you probably got it. His purpose was love. His destiny was the cross. His reason was you. And no, that's not my message, but, but, but I just had to bring that in because it was so powerful to me. And then you know I'm a teacher, so I, I, I looked up purpose. Purpose is a goal or an aim. So love was his goal. Love was his aim, to show love. And then destiny is your intended path decided for you. It's there to guide you, your intended ear. His destiny from the beginning was the cross. He was born to die, the cross. And his reason, the cause, was me. My secret, glory to God. All of my uncleanness, all of my guile, all of my unrighteousness was the reason for his love and his destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad you got it. Hallelujah. The blood still works. This is the song I was going to have my son play. The blood still works. And there's a section in the song that says, I know it works because it raised me. I know it works because it saved me. I know it works because it filled me. Glory to God that he didn't stop there after he filled me with his Holy Spirit and he healed me. Glory to God. I know that the blood still works. Hallelujah. So on today, yes, the blood still works. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is love. And his love is greater than any other love. Because his love is eternal. <clears throat> Unconditional. It doesn't matter. He still loves. God's love has no limits. And because of his love for us, Jesus went to the cross in our place. His reason was, was me. Amen. Jesus paid a debt we couldn't pay. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus endured suffering we couldn't endure. <clears throat> the selfless, pure love of God the Father was shown through God the Son. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When he sacrificed what we couldn't sacrifice. Yes, Their holy, righteous giving Giving love. Love gives. Always gives. Love doesn't take. Love doesn't draw. Love, love doesn't suck dry. But love gives. Love builds up. Love encourages. Sometimes love convicts. And sometimes love has to chastise. But it's from a loving way. And you know the love is there. Sometimes it's firm. But you know the love is there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Their holy, righteous, giving love separated Jesus from his Father. For us. That agape love that can't be touched. There's nothing higher, nothing greater. Romantic love, friendship love, it brotherly love, it doesn't matter. Love for family, for family, it doesn't matter. Nothing is greater than God's love. <coughs> in that he gave his only forgotten son. For people who didn't even want him. 
forward to that. That love. Mm. How many of us would be willing to do that? Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Their agape love, we can hear in these words when Jesus cried, My God, my God, why? He asked God a question he already knew the answer to. But somehow just crying out to him made it a little bit more bearable for him. He knew it was coming. Hallelujah. But he still asked the question. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus knew what would be. He went to the cross. He knew. But until that moment, in his natural flesh, when he was experiencing it, he didn't know exactly how it would be. He knew what was coming. But have you ever known something, but then when you're in the midst of it, whether it's good or bad, you, you couldn't even imagine until you were in the midst of it exactly what was going to be. Whether it was something good or something bad, you were like, I thought I knew, but when you were in the midst of it, Hallelujah. When you're in the midst of it. Hallelujah. Hebrews 4 and 15 says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Jesus is our example. Yes. He went through everything that we could go through. He took it to the cross. If he had taken everything to the cross, we wouldn't have victory because there would be something that the enemy could throw at us that we wouldn't have the power over. But because Jesus took everything to the cross, we got the victory. Amen. Because he got a glory to God. If he could endure that, whatever we encounter, we can endure. Because we aren't separated from God like he was. All we have to do is do what Jesus did. Cry out to God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And God will do for us what he didn't do for Jesus. He could have done it, but he didn't. Hallelujah. He turned his back. Mm. Not just his face, but he turned his back Come on, on Jesus because of our filthy sins. Yeah. But if we cry out to God today, mm -hmm. he will draw nigh unto us and he will help us. He will deliver us. Yeah. Yeah. Something he didn't do for his own son. Come on, man. Because of love. Jesus. My God, my God, why? Why is thou forsaken me? These words we should hold close in our heart, not just this time of year, but every day. And never let them get lost because they represent love accepting the punishment for all of the world's sin and shame. Those words remind us that everything we have done and will ever do has been paid for on the cross. All anyone has to do in order to receive that receipt that says paid in full. Glory to God. It's just believe in Jesus. Believe he died for your sins. Believe he was resurrected by God the Father from the dead. Giving Jesus power over death, hell, and the grave. Over all of your illnesses. Over all of your conditions. Over all of your temptations. Over all of your struggles. Over all of your problems. Whatever might come in your life. He got up with power over it. Yes. Hallelujah. And when he fills you with that Holy Spirit, then you've got the power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All you've got to do is tap into it. Paid in full. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you can believe and ask God to forgive you of your sins, Romans 10 and 9 says, You shall be saved. You shall. Hallelujah. You shall be saved. All you got to do is believe. That cry from Jesus to the Father was a cry of love. Thank you, Lord. It was a cry of brokenness. It was a cry of loneliness. Mm. It was a cry of pain. Mm. Greater than any pain he could ever have. Mm. He had the world's sins upon him. There, 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 there's no pain we can endure no matter how bad it might seem in that moment. Just remember Jesus on the cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Lord. The price we couldn't pay. Mm. Glory to God. Jesus. For the gift we didn't deserve. Yes. Jesus. And that's my talk. The price we couldn't pay. For the gift we 
didn't deserve. Thank you. Hallelujah. No matter what we endure, Jesus gave us an example. When we have those dark, hopeless times, we can cry out to God. I mean, the world is in a crazy state right now. My sister just testified about it earlier. And you have heard and seen so much. Even before COVID-19, it seems like when that came, all kinds of plagues were just unleashed on the world. And that's exactly what it is. You can say what they want to say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God's a loving God. He's so loving. He's so kind. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. But you're going to read your Bible. Because that loving Father, he will chastise. That loving Father, hallelujah, also has a wrath that you don't want to be caught up in. But there's some out there preaching a loving God that won't punish. He just loves. Anybody in here who's a parent, you know that's not the case. Come on, man. <laughs> hallelujah. At least I hope you do. Amen. Sometimes your children have to be told no. Sometimes they have to be chastised. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you have to pull out that rock. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I even got to play some time where the, the scriptures in the Bible had yeah, highlighted. I'll take it and show it to the children. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not abuse, it's Bible. Glory to God. Amen. However, right. however, Hallelujah. We have to do things decent and in order. Amen. And sometimes you have to cool down before you pull out the rock. Amen. Amen. I think that's, that's, that's sometimes right. where people get into trouble. That's right. Glory to God because you. You let the enemy inflame your anger, and then when you know anything, you've done something you shouldn't have done. Yes, yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God has ran. And if you read the New Testament, not the old, but the new, you can read the old too, but the new, just go to Revelation and find out what's going to happen. He's a patient God, but that patience is going to run out. You know, we look around now and we're saying, Lord, why are you letting so much go on? And why? God gave us free will. And people choose the path that they want to take. And just like he's waiting on the, those of us that are serving him now, he's waiting on some of those that are out there still doing evil. And we want them punished now. We want them struck down now. But he didn't strike you down. Amen. He didn't destroy you. Amen. So there are some that it's just not time yet. He's giving them time. And then we know that there are going to be those that just will not repent. They will not change their ways. They will not see the truth. They will believe. The Bible tells us they will be alive before they believe the truth. We know that. But the point is, we've got to be whole. And we've got to remember, Jesus paid a price that we couldn't pay. For us to have that gift of eternal life that we don't deserve because of love. Oh, it's a because of love. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy is not playing games with us. He's trying to destroy us however he can. He doesn't care how much you come to church. He doesn't care how much you sing. He doesn't care how much you dance. He doesn't care how much you read the word. He doesn't care how much you manage or preach. He doesn't care what you do. As long as you aren't living what you're talking about. That's right. Go with the God. You can dance, hallelujah. You can speak in tongues, hallelujah. We, you know, as, as, let's be real, as a church, as a people, as, you know, the culture now, we know how to church. We know how to do church. Oh, glory, hallelujah, holy ghost. We know how to do church, but, but when the music stops, all right, oh, God, hallelujah. All right, and, and what the song say, and the band goes home. Yeah. Uh -huh. when, when, the, when, when the benediction is given, uh -huh. yes, yes. Uh -huh. And you gotta go out there. You, what are you living? Uh -huh. right. Glory to God. Come to this word. You study it out in your heart to help you to stand. Right. When the enemy comes to get through. Glory to God. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. That's Thank not where I was supposed to be going. But then, yes, it was because that's what the Holy Spirit did. Hallelujah. He does that to me often. I will prepare. And he'll take it somewhere else. Right. So I learned just to say yes. Hallelujah. The price we couldn't pay for the gift we didn't deserve because of his love. Oh God. The price we couldn't pay for the gift we didn't deserve. And some of us still won't accept it. Amen. Oh my God, we still won't accept it. 
himself. But we have to cry out to God as Jesus did. We've got to seek him for whatever struggles and trials and tribulations we're going through in our life. Thank you, Lord. That's why the words there. I really, you know, I really believe that's the Lord. You, you allow him to question you. And God said, you can question me. Sometimes you have to ask God. Sometimes you might not get an answer. Sometimes you might get one. But just that release, just being able to talk, talk it out with the Father. And sometimes you might even be angry with him, frustrated, going through whatever it is you're going through. But he already knows. <laughs> Glory to God. It's better to talk to him than not at all. Hallelujah. Because in that exchange, he knows your hurt. He knows your pain. He knows your frustration. You can find deliverance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Luke 23, 44 and 45. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was dark. And the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. Torn. Then our Savior screamed. I can't even imagine what it sounded like. Yes. Screamed. At his deepest point of suffering. Because God had turned his back on him. And he was totally alone. So you want to talk about depression? You want to talk about mental illness? You want to talk about the emotional distress? Jesus endured it there on the cross. Glory yeah. yeah. to God. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. He was abandoned by his father, the lover of his soul. He felt no love in those moments. He felt no help in those moments. He felt, felt no extra strength in those, in, the, in those moments. He was utterly alone. And he called out to him. And God didn't answer. <coughs> mm -hmm. He didn't answer. He called out, but he didn't answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. He just turned his back. Because of his love for us. And I, I thought about it and I said, God, now, you turned your back on him. And, and Jesus is our example. And I, I, I was going through the scripture and, and it came to me when he went to the garden of Gethsemane and he prayed. And he said, oh my father, if it, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. I know I came for this, but if, if, if you just, but he ended with, not my will, but that will be done. Sometimes we don't want what God's will is. But we've got to be willing to trust him enough to know that even when it hurts, right. it's for our good. Yeah. 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 Even when it breaks our heart, it's for our good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. The price we could not pay mm. for the gift that we didn't deserve. Mm. He lovingly drank that cup. He drank it down to the dregs. Anybody ever had a cup of tea and then, you know, and, and the last little bit, the tea leaves and all like that, the, the stuff nobody wants? He drank it down to that for us. Glory to God. All of it. He suffered it all for us. Yes. And I just want our young people to know it's not a fairy tale. Because, you know, to let some people tell it, they have reduced it down to. You know, the Bible is, is no more than just a, a, a book of, a, you know, myths now, according to the secular world. But the Bible is true. Yes. You don't have to take my word for it. Just pray. Challenge God. God, if you're real. Hallelujah. You know, you should yes, say that, God, if you're real. You do what it takes. Because I promise you, if you try it, He'll show you he's real. If you reach out, right. he'll reach back. Oh, yeah. If you just trust, yeah. hallelujah. And even if you go in unbelief and you're just daring, if you're really there, oh, he'll let you know he's there. And then when you make that connection, glory to God, hallelujah, your life will never be the same. That's why some people, some people they haven't got saved because they know. They know. And then they try to enjoy a little while longer, but oh, don't go too far, don't wait too long in those days.
get too lazy. Come on, God. Yes, oh God. Hallelujah. Some of us, you know, we, we, we're going to have a life, you know, a long timeline in your life. And some of us might be like Jesus, 33 years. And it was a wreck. But in those 33 years, look what he did for us. Everybody doesn't have a life, a long life life. So don't sit there and let me, let me fool you. But you got time. When you said, oh, I don't want to go, that was the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jen. I'm so glad that you didn't let me talk to you and tell you, oh, go ahead and go. I'm so glad you didn't let anybody or anything deter you from when you said no. <coughs> that was God. Hallelujah. I believe now in my soul that was God. Yeah. And like my sister said, it would have been another story if she had been there because she wasn't supposed to be there.